Well, hello and good morning. Welcome to the first look from Kitsuga.com. I am Fiona Fox. This is www.kitsuga.com's first look at Win That War, a retro futuristic RTS in the style of Supreme Commander. So I've spent a little bit of time running through the tutorials and everything, so we're just going to try and, uh, and grab a quick game. Uh, I haven't yet played with these other two command units, so we're going to choose the Sentinel. And we're going to set the AI difficulty to 2, because I don't want it to be super hard, but I don't want it to be super easy either. So, And we're going to play on the Wasteland map. Well, the Wasteland biome. I don't have, like, maps. So this is an RTS that's styled uh, very much in the style of of a game that of another game that I loved, Supreme Commander, that I wish I had had more time to play. So like we have, we should have resource nodes. Yeah, they are over here. And we will press spacebar to go and build resource nodes. This guy's gonna build generators, and this guy is gonna build our resource nodes. So unlike every other oh, this is a tank this is our engineer right here and this is our, our light we start with one engineer and one light tank okay so unlike veritably every single other actually we do not want him to do that then we want him to build us a factory uh, crystal extractor and then probably a factory so we can build some more engineers there we go so like every other rts game we start with pretty much nothing uh, we have a mobile base. It has a big gun on the top. It can move and shoot. It has a small sh shooting range. So that gives us a little bit of an advantage to start off with. Like Supreme Commander, we'll have nodes. Uh, these are these three are here are crystal nodes. So those crystal nodes will extract this resource. Uh, sorry, this resource. Sharp crystal. We also have another resource, energy, which is created by picking these generators here, which we will also be building one of. And then we have our factories, so we're going to have our factories build us a couple of engineers and a couple of light scout units right now. Meanwhile, let's take our other guy here and have him just sort of run a scout of the map. So just like Supreme Commander, you can zoom all the way out to a tactical view and see what's going on. Resource drain is like middle pa is like passive, so what you're seeing here is that I'm getting plus 40 energy up to maximum of 3k, plus 10 sharp crystal up to maximum of 3k, and no blowing fluid, and I currently have 2k in stock. So this is a passive growth number. It will go up and down based on the amount of resources that I'm harvesting versus the amount of resources that I am spending. You will see it go up and down as we go back and forth. Alright, we have one idle worker. So we're going to have our idle worker come over here and build these other two crystal extractors. Because crystal is going to be important, obviously. It's one of our main resources. Uh, minor, minor grudge with this game, but it is a grudge. I can't move the camera with W, A, S, and D, um, which is a little annoying. We're also going to drop a radar right in the middle here because that way we can see if there's an enemy coming. We've got our scout unit scouting around here. Um, he's found another set of resource nodes on the bottom there. Those will stay on the map after he leaves, so if he sees them, they'll stay on the map. So if you look at the upper left corner now, our upper right corner here, you'll see that enemy diplomat approaching. Well, uh, he was approaching, and then my base blew him up. You'll see that we're currently draining energy at a rapid rate, because we, we don't have a enough energy to generate. So what I'm going to do is select two engineers. These are both engineers. And I'm going to go ahead and ask them to put in... Three generators. Meanwhile, I'm going to ask my factory, which is currently building light assault units. You can see right there. This is a buggy. I have two of them. They're light assault units. We can assign them to control group with control two. So these are. We have four engineers and two buggies. Uh, I'm going to send these engineers. We have an enemy light tank approach. Oh, uh, we found the enemy base. Looks like I'm going to send some of these engineers down here to uh, go build at this other resource point. But not all of them. We want, we want two of them to stay here and, and work on those generators. And in the meantime, let's have our little light factory build a couple more light tanks, just in case. And we have an enemy buggy coming into our sensor range. 
that's going to be no problem for our base to destroy. Okay, so those generators are done. We can now have a pretty solid amount of generator, a solid amount of power, and we can build. Uh, we'll be able to build ourselves a radar, or we'll want to build a turret. I do want to build one turret here, um, just to cover the base. Even though we have the turret already there, so we're going to come down here. These are green fluid. They're very. Those generators are very important. Set our rally point over here and continue to build some light tanks. Uh, our base is more than capable of defending itself for the, at least the very early parts of the game. That's why I grabbed the radar. Radar does use power, so it's important to keep that power running. He's going to continue to harass, it looks like, with his buggies, which is fine. I have no problem with that. He can continue to do that. Uh, I have another light tank over here, so let's break him over here. These light tanks seem to outpile my light tanks, so it's but we'll put our light tanks over here for now. And we'll have our engineer get started on a air factory, because we're going to need that. And you can see we don't have a ton of, ton of units. We have missile launchers, light tanks, buggies, and air knockers, engineers, and diplomats. Diplomats are scouting, engineers are building, buggies are light and fast, light tanks have a uh, small amount of HP and good at, you know, good at attacking. And this is our idle units tab down here on the right. This is always nice. So here we've got one factory idle and we've got two engineers idle. Well, these two idle engineers are idle down here because they are, they are not building the crystals, gen the crystal extractors. So we're going to have them build three crystal extractors and then build anti-air turret and then build regular turret so that we can defend our crystal extractors when it's time. Oh, we need to build a relay antenna first. This extends the, our ability to build our base, and then once that really turns down, we'll be able to build our turret here. This enemy is still attempting to harass, not very successfully. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just set this guy on uh, this factory here on a repeat for building of uh, the light tanks, so I can, I can just... Ask it to build a light tank and set it on repeat. So it'll just keep building light tanks for as long as I have resources. Uh, which will not be a long time if I don't build some more generators. Um, but I do need to build I do need to build some more generators. I do have one idle engineer, he's chilling over here. I had him build that air factory. He's already built those turrets. Ah, I know there's a tab there. This is a, there's a, a sort of a strange, sort of a strange method of, of figuring these out. So, um, one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna want to eventually do is build these three units, these three pieces here to create larger uh, storage unit amounts of storage. And then this is the other factory. Um, so we'll we'll drop it right here for now. It's gonna take some time to build, but we're still building the air factory. So. And if we ever run out of resources, just like in Supreme Commander, if we ever run out of resources, what ends up happening is that we will... We won't stop building. I got a pretty good little annex set up down here of a base. Uh, let's get ourselves to the next area, which is over here. This is where we found the, the fluid. So let's get ourselves over to here and start building some of those fluid pumps. Those guys will give us the green fluid resource, which is a more advanced resource required for building things later on. We've got a pretty good army of, of tanks here, though they're not the mo they're, they're not the most uh, kitted out. You know, they're just light tanks, but they should be good enough for harassing the enemy. <laughs> Forgive me for blowing my nose. It should be more than good enough for harassing the enemy, and because of the way that AI and everything works in this game, we don't really super need to micromanage them. We just kind of set them for a location and let them go. Um, I thought I had a scout unit still, but I may not have a scout unit. So this is the air factory. It's going to build bombers and fighters. I'm going to have to start off by having it build two of each. Not going to set it to build. Uh, not going to set it to build endlessly. The loop. So what you can see is that does indeed consume global fluid, which I don't yet have enough of sort of screw around with. Um, we did lose uh, down there, we did lose our sort of run our units down there so we can do a little a little fighting. 
I don't, would rather not lose those generator, those two spots, those two pumps down there. Uh, this one they're attacking is going to die for sure before my units can get there, but maybe the other one won't. So I guess I need to build a couple more engineers. Let's, uh, let's turn off the that production queue pit there and build two more engineers, because I need two more engineers. And we should have at least one diplomat running. So there we go, That that's handily... We've handled pretty well the enemy force there. We did lose quite a bit of our own forces, but we're just going to park over our light tanks over here for now. I'll bring them down and defend them until we can get that engineer down here. And uh, once the engineer is down here, and the engineer is, is good to go... Oh, for some reason our air factory here is not done. I don't know why our engineer has decided to stop building our air factory. Oh, I have two idle engineers. Wow, okay. Well, let's get them down here to build build those. So first we're going to put a relay antenna, and then we're going to put these two crystal extractors down. Or not crystal extractors, sorry. These two fluid pumps down, and then we will put down a couple of turrets to defend, and an air turret. Because we don't really have a ton of units right now, so I'm definitely concerned that we may not be able to defend this without more intervention. And meanwhile, we can go back to our ground factory, which is pretty good queue of stuff to build at the moment. Doesn't look like I'll need too many more engineers. So I've got one idle engineer here. Let's have him build that demo lab. Is he waiting for something? No, he should be able to build it. There we go. So he'll be able to build that, and hopefully it'll it'll build up. Enemy missile launcher approaching. Oh, let's go and take out those guys. That missile launcher because it has longer range. Yeah, it's just an enemy missile launcher right there. You can see that it, it just took out my units as they were driving by. We want to take that. Uh oh, that's our engineer. No engineer is good out here. Uh oh, base is under attack. That missile launcher guy may be able to attack me without any issue, without any repercussions, which would be bad. I thought I had that air factory producing some aircraft. There we go. Oh, those are buggies. That uh, obnoxious beeping sound is insufficient power. It's telling me I have not enough power. Um, but. We're just about to the point now where I've got everything ready to go. Um, and once we have everything set up at the beginning here, there we go, there's our aircraft. We're going to use our aircraft over here to mercilessly destroy his units that are attacking. Um, the scout unit, okay. Do I have an idle engineer over here? No, I don't. Uh, so we're going to have to have him, he's going to have to leave there and he's going to have to build some more generators. Insufficient power, build the generator. Yep, we're working on it. Actually, we have insufficient crystal at the moment, so that's the biggest problem. So what we need to do is we need to pull these guys off so that we can start getting crystal again. But we need to pull them off and have them stop. There's no, like, stop key. There's no, like, command to stop doing what they're doing, which is definitely a little annoying. Um, it can be a little frustrating, so you just sort of have to click away from what they would automatically be doing otherwise. Um, those guys get past my aircraft screen? That's obnoxious. Uh, we're just gonna park our aircraft over here because that's where we want them to be at. So, to build this generator, we are once again gaining energy because we have. No, we are no longer building all that stuff down there. Um, we're just. Right now, we're just. We need to stop repeating that. Uh, we definitely don't need to keep building engineers. We really just need light tanks. We can just have this factory build light tanks until the end of time, basically. Um, so there you go, we've got more more generators up. We should have enough energy now uh, to finish the project we were working on down here. If I can find those engineers, there we go. We already did get the, the green fluid generators done, which is good. I'm showing three engineers idle. Okay. Oh, because the projects down here were actually cancelled, so we need to also build down here, we want to build another turret, and then we want to build anti-air in case he brings in an air, both air units. 
Uh, just to make sure that that's a secure area. Hey, go kill. I think what we'll do is actually what I'll do is so I'm stationing these guys. I've stationed these these units over here. These are all attack units, kind of. I'll put them in. They're all coming. They're coming through this little pass here, so I'll start putting them in that pass. All right, there's our engineer, and now we can get him back to building that more advanced factory. And those three engineers down here should be done yeah, now. Yep, they're done. So let's take them and the attack units and move to find the next resource node. Um, there's not as many resource nodes on maps as you would think. Um, really, I'd be I might was like super surprised that there weren't more resource nodes. They, they're just not that common. But as you can see, I'm doing pretty well with resources, even with the small amount of resource nodes. Uh, here comes an enemy buggy that's going to get shit rocked. So there you go, it's dead. Uh, units do sort of creep up, for lack of a better word. Um, I'm just going to have this little force go back and forth looking for resource nodes. Because I don't know where the resource nodes are on this map. I haven't played it before. Well, we wait for this factory to finish. It's a demolition lab. Should be almost done. I'll we'll park these guys in the pass over here just in case they don't. We may need one more engineer to help over here. Let's see if we can grab another engineer to help over here really quick. Ah, I found the enemy. Okay, so I found the enemy, but not the resource node. Um, those guys will be no trouble for us right now. Let's just make sure we kind of avoid them. Let's go north. Let's see if we can find anything over here this way. Um, I did lose quite a few units there. I'm down to four light tanks and three engineers. Not the worst thing in the world. Alright, here's another engineer. And there we go. Now we've got our demo lab. We can build heavy tanks and artillery. So let's build a couple of each. Um, heavy tanks and artillery, and we'll have them park here. And we'll use those heavy tanks and those artilleries take out the enemy. Uh, meanwhile, we'll also build two more ground factories, one for each of our engineers. And obviously we're, we're pretty close to the maximum limit of what can be sustained at the moment by my available resources, so I don't particularly want to build more. Um, building more would mean that I had to get more resources, uh, because, like I said, this is a resources as you go style game like Supreme Commander is, when you run out, you don't just run out, You things will keep building, things will keep going, you just kind of have to maintain those levels. So we, they chased us away with a couple of buggies over there. Again, I'm really looking right now, what I'm looking for is resource nodes, because I would like to have some more resources. Um, I'd like to be able to build some more stuff, and I can't really build anything else without more resources. So, I need to go and get me some more resources. <laughs> need to get me more resources like a prospector in old west so there's some over here we have some res we have some more glowing fluid so I'll drop a couple glowing fluid generators on over here fluid pump so there's only one actually so I'll drop a fluid pump over here ah he's coming in from the north side this time what a crafty crafty guy uh, he's not crafty at all he's just coming in from the the other side. So these are our engineers, and I'm gonna have them drop a turret over here. It's because there's three of them, so it'll only take a few seconds to do that. And now I have three idle factories, and uh, we're gonna set them all for rally point right here. And we're gonna have them build buggies and no, actually, we have not built buggies. We build light tanks, light tanks, missile launchers, and bombers. And we'll have our big factory continue to build those. There. We're not really running out of resources at all, and we've got a pretty good pool here. So we've got our we've got our gas extractor down. Let's just let's just go straight across. This is probably more than enough to take out the enemy space. So let's let's a move over there. We've got a few aircraft, we've got a few more advanced units. We've got a few light units. Here's our, our advanced artillery. Missile launcher, heavy tanks. J 
generator under attack. Oh, I will send two heavy tanks over to stop it. I thought I sent those engineers over here to build a turret. I guess I maybe did. I don't know. I'm gonna have them drop a machine gun turret. Right there, so just gonna stop to that. This guy's building heavy tanks still, so. Just like in. Oh, there's a, a big resource node over here that we just missed. Um, so to build this this type of resource, uh, to build this we'll need a relay at the antenna because we can't drop anything except for the gas extract, except for the fuel pumps without resource extractors, so there will be pistol extractors. And you can see that as I build relay towers, I'm only allowed four of them, so I will be able to build only maximum of five bases in the game. Alright, let's A move into their base. Um, looks like we're going to have to go around the mountain. Not the air units, they'll go straight in. I don't know if he has anti-air or not. Uh, no, he does not. I literally drove right into his base with my bomber, so. Uh, that will be the end of the game. Uh, setting the AI on easy does that. It makes it so you don't really have to fight too much. It's not too hard. But hopefully that gives you a little bit of a nice overview of how this game behaves. Uh, this was just a quick multiplayer. This was just a quick single player skirmish. Uh, about 20 minutes or so. Uh, he had an extra resource though right next to his base, that lucky guy. There's our artillery firing. That's his, his excavator, or his main base right there that we're hitting, so. And we just got some more resources as well, so we have... We're still good, we have plus 20, plus 240, plus 200 on that. Now, if I was going to continue to play, the next thing I would do would be to grab that engineer over here, and have him build additional storage for those bits and bobs, but I don't need, I'm not going to be continuing to play because, you know, we've won our victory here, so. There you go, that's your basic overview. This is Win That War, the retro futuristic RTS. See if it'll give us a victory screen. Nope, there we go, I have to exit. Um, there are definitely some things in this game that, that sort of are a little rough around the edges. So, there's your map. This was a pretty small map, only two players. Uh, I was able to annihilate the enemy on win condition. Apparently I don't get to I don't get to exit, I have to just click leave game, so there you go. But that was only AI level 2, and it goes up to AI level 7, and I'm not particularly interested in exploring higher AI levels, so. In addition to that, we also have tutorial missions, and there is a multiplayer and a massive campaign. This campaign is huge. You start on this planet, and you go out from there. It's a subcom style campaign where you will go from planet to planet with a story and fully voiced characters and other awesome things. Uh, I may bring you some videos about that. Uh, going forward, but right now I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the game uh, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. This is Win That War. You can find it on Steam. It's about $20 on Steam. It may even be on sale. This is the Steam. They're making this video during Steam Sale Week, so it may even be on sale on the Steam Sale. If it's not, it's still worth the price to pick up. Uh, if you're a fan of re of anything like retrofuturistic looks, like this look right here, the sci-fi retrofuturistic, or if you're a fan of Supreme Commander style RTS, it's something that we do not have a lot of these days. Thanks for watching. This has been Fiona Fox of www.kitsugi.com. Check out the website for the full review.